Hi there, signs of Capricorn. This is Kim here to do your reading. Hope you're doing well. This reading is for your second half of March. Um, and what we're 2023. Oh. Okay, so messages for Capricorn. Asking that your spirit team and your angels join us as we get messages. These are always made for your highest good. Oh, okay, messages for Capricorn. What is the main energy here that we're going to focus on for our reading with Capricorn, please? Some good news. The Page of Wands card. Good. So we're going to focus on receiving good news or just good news, period, right? Uh, what is keeping you grounded? What is keeping you grounded at this time? Justice. What well, energy is from the past? The three of wands in the reverse. Hmm. What energy is kind of overall influencing everything? The knight of disc. Good energy. You weren't surprised. You are surprised. That somebody's been, um, like, responsible, <laughs> doing good, I guess, or bringing a good offer in for you. The energies that you're going towards is, well, one of not waiting anymore. Um, King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So you might be uh, consulting with an expert or something like that. Okay, I'm going to ask, I've got timing cards, so I want to ask um, how far in the future is this and how past, and how far in the past is that? Um, so how far in the past is this talking about <laughs> for Capricorn? And it was, remember I it was a surprise, so a surprise. How far in the past? Not much longer. Not much longer, or so, not that. Three weeks. So not that long ago, three weeks ago. Okay, what is the hang one in reverse? How far is that into the future? Three months. Three months. A waiting period to be up. Ooh, a decade on the bottom. I don't know what that's about. But a decade on the bottom. I'm not sure I got everything. There we go. So what was this that surprised you? Four of swords in the reverse. Give me another card with that. The star. It, okay, so what is, what, surprising? Surprising. Um, that things are still needing to be um, healed, actually. It's about um, things needing to be healed still. Um, what is the surprise? Possibly the journey. Maybe it's hard to visualize at this time or at that time about how to heal something. Um, the star, though, this energy is, um, you know, like what you've been hoping for. So you've been hoping for a healing, whether it's mind, body, or soul needing a time out because getting a break is something that's hard to do or taking a time out <clears throat> so let's go further what about this justice energy that's uh grounding you for capricorn your truth your clarity your truth your clarity justice what else tower and the page of cups and the three of pentacles so hopeful new 
situation. Um, hopeful new beginning. The Three of Pentacles. Cooperation. Collaboration. The tower. Building a tower. Or the good tower with building and effort. <laughs> Maybe. Um, this is probably sudden change. Within people working together, perhaps after there was some kind of tower energy, I think I think it's about healing from a tower energy or something like that. Um, the Three of Pentacles, truth and clarity here, um, really about something that's as long as people are working like they are in collaboration, that something could be kind of hopeful the major change and the transformation that's occurred um like a makeover like a makeover aquarius aquarius king of swords on the bottom too so tell me about waiting on good news or waiting on this news um it might need you might need to insert a little bit more play too okay okay well that makes sense the hang one so waiting on, currently waiting on good news. Shortly, within three months, this is like a waiting, you should receive it within three months. What the hang went in reverse, that's interesting. So, and the, and the time right now could be felt as if, you know, you've got this really great perspective and able to see, it feels like you're able to see everything from where you're at. Somebody is being very responsible, dependable, um, coming through for you with the Knight of Disc. It could be somebody that um, you're counting on and then they do come through for you. It can be something like that. You may be waiting on this person, period. They might be slow but still reliable, just slow. The four of cups in reverse is a brand new start is needed because there was some kind of influence with the three of cups in reverse that wasn't the best. These weren't real friends or they were a, a not so good influence on a person. The four of pentacles in the reverse is, um, well, four, 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 three, four. Um, so that is releasing um, your attachment to how something has to come about. Um, you feel like it, it, it feels like that somebody's being dependable, right? But um, but and that somebody deserves a new start because hanging around this group of people was like them giving away their power because the influence wasn't good. Um, and these fours being in the reverse are telling me that a path is going to be changed. Uh, direction. It's going towards something more um, stable. It's going towards something that's better. It's going to yield better results. And so something looks really good with your pentacles too. I'll say that. We'll get clarity on the Three of Cups from Spirit with a different deck. So tell me more about um, what this, the hanged one in reverse. So what the waiting period is up. Yeah, it's just, it's going to say, don't worry. Your spirit team is taking care of this. This is all part of a divine plan. The temperance energy, um, it, it, it's balancing things while you have this patience. Um, you have done a lot of self-sacrificing and there is some kind of good news after what you've been through. This is what you've been through. Right. Okay. So, and the main, the main energies now, we really do have patients coming out here a lot. So, you, that might be just reflecting you. Um, the hang one twice, Virgo. Um, you have Sagittarius energy. Aquarius is twice. You have Libra, Scorpio. For the main the main cards so let's get advice from spirit we'll use the good tarot and um and get some advice
Okay, for getting truth or clarity for the scales to be balanced, um, give us some advice for this justice card that is keeping you grounded. Three of water. And now it's like this. It's almost like kind of waiting around to see what somebody else is going to say, wanting to know what this critique is going to be, or suggestions on maybe what to do here. Uh, three of Cups in the reverse. Tell me more about it. Six of Air. Yeah, um, we're moving away from these friends, from that influence. Um, and the path gets changed because listen to your intuition. Something about those uh, that group is not good for your success. There's the king of earth. Taurus energy has to do with commitment to um, like family business. Money, finances looking good. There may have been sudden change or transformation regarding a Libra or Taurus or Aquarius. Possibly um, Cancer energy here too. Another page of water. You got page of cups and page of cups twice. Uh, hopeful new beginning. Hopeful, hopefully a new beginning. There was a complete makeover, a complete glow up regarding justice and regarding a big transformation too. A metamorphosis page of air possibly a not so comfortable conversation but nonetheless like having to have a conversation about temptation possibly regarding the front person or friends that this person's around and then the two of water is the the card that represents real love um, True love, I mean, uh, choices, decisions, choices, probably does have to do with the choices. Um, so getting more information, getting more information and a message coming in, maybe regarding some kind of celebration that you've been waiting for or reunion, it bringing about a temptation, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense for you and um wow ace of fire and the three of earth another three of earth so we have um we have it being the six of pentacles all together this is a success um it's with this cooperation it is brought about a new solution to an old problem with the ace of fire and it's new passion to, and you're passionately manifesting this person to you. Okay, so let's see. Let's get pull from some Oracle. This is the Real Talk deck. So Spirit's advice is just to ro roll with it, watch with the um, temptation. Maybe it's saying to plan on um, something actually working out really well. I'm going to do it like this. Aw, oh, transmute. Kind of like, um, oh, who's Scorpio's energy. You have the ability to, to transform tough times and challenging energy into a multitude of things. Let your heart space lead the way and transmute your struggles into wisdom and wonder. I love this one. Worthy. You are worthy of all your desires. No matter what you've experienced in the past, you are deserving of love, happiness, and whatever your definition of success is. And hella expressive. It is healthy to honor and express your emotions through any medium that you choose, art, writing, etc. Understanding and respecting your moods and emotions will lead you to greater levels of emotional maturity and self-discovery. Okay. See what your guardian angels have to say. Angel of past lives, number 24. 
and the angel of unity that was in Aquarius is reading too. I also have recognition wanting to come off the top. Be willing to accept praise and recognition when it's due. It's empowering to feel valued and seen and patting yourself on the back and accepting compliments from others can be the gift that keeps on giving. Okay, and to close out, I'm going to close out with a cryon card for you, Capricorn. Nope. Just that one. You are never alone. You are never alone. Cryon. Okay, so... Um, it says we are with you in the hardest times you've had through the tears through the sorrow and also in celebrating the moments you choose to toast in victory we know who you are and you are never alone it's getting affirmation that you have an entourage of entities and energies around you who actually know who you are and it is the sweetness of just knowing that there is a plan for us so, yeah. Spirit always has a hand outstretched asking you to take it when you need it. All right, that's what I've got. Sending you love and light. Contact me through the description box if you want a private reading. Bye-bye.